Welcome, and thank you for joining for another whiskey review. Today, we're going to take a look at this Beaumore 21 year old independent bottling from Dramful. This is not the first bottle of, from Dramful that I have reviewed. I had a Port Charlotte 16 year old that I really fell in love with. Excellent, excellent bottle. Ended up buying three of them. Um, so it uh, is. Independent bottler that I want to give a few more chances to see what I think of some of their whiskeys. This particular one is from the Beaumont Distillery, which is on the island of Isla. It comes in at 52.9% ABV. This is from a bourbon hogshead, and there were 299 bottles. I got bottle 142. All the information is, is right here. I'll put it in the um, thumbnail um, where you can you know see all that information. So these, uh, all these Dramful uh, independent bottlings, the majority of them come in at cast strength, or at least all the ones I've had come in at cast strength. And they come in these really nice black uh, cylinder, round cylinder containers, and they come wrapped in this nice black uh, tissue paper. And all of them are, have always been natural color and unchill filtered and come in this clear glass. So I really like a lot of what this guy is doing. Um, as far as the cast that he picks out and then he bottles them, you know, majority of them in cast strength or maybe all of them in cast strength. So he's doing some good things. I really appreciate it. It's um, some nice, well-aged whiskeys at a very reasonable price. I think I paid around $200 for this, maybe a few dollars under. But uh, it came highly recommended to me from a friend of mine who is a big fan of Beaumont, where I am not. So we'll see what we got going on. <sighs> very unique. Um... Beaumont, I like the 23, I like the 15 darkest. I really like the uh, Devil's Cask, uh, the number two and the number three both. I really thought those were great whiskeys um, from a sherry perspective. But this one is only bourbon, so you're getting a lot of that uh, wood putty that I get a lot with uh, Beaumont. Some people also will say like a plasticky note. You could probably call it plastic, plastic wood putty. And then really, the first thing I get right after that as far as a normal tasting note would be a light banana. Very light, light smoke. Lemon. Lemon grass. And a note that I've come to call green hay. And what I mean by that is, is you know, hay turns brown, right? Um, rolled up you know it's kind of it's, it's dead um, but sometimes when they first do it there'll be some parts of the ground in it they'll kind of get you know they have some green in it still green hay never worked on a farm but i've seen people work on it before when i was a kid it looked like terribly hard work it was hot just watching them <clears throat> but very um very subdued nose in a lot of ways um i've had this bottle for over a year and I've been waiting for it patiently to open up, to open up, to open up, but it's not going to. It's done all the opening it's going to do. If it opened the door, it would just been a crack. That's it. You know, just barely. You got to get your foot in there to wedge it in to even try to get in the door. <sighs> Definitely this bourbon cast maturation. I would guess this bourbon is um, second, third, fourth fill. It's very, very light. There's not a ton of cask influence on it at all. All it says is bourbon's ho bourbon ho hogshead, which is a big bourbon cask. It's just very, I don't know how much um, influence the wood put on this. And maybe almost like a cleaner note to it as well. So if wood putty and cleaner is your thing. I'm, I'm half joking. Um, again, there is some nice notes. There's some light smoke. The lemon's nice. Green hay. All right, let's take a sip and see what I More intense on the palate than it was on the nose by, by a wide margin. Um, sweet, initially sweet. Waxy, almost Klein Leash waxy. Um, vanilla comes in pretty quickly in the, in the finish. Um, not really an oak note to it, which is surprising being 21 years old. Again, I just don't think the cast did a lot to it. And now kind of on the finish, I get that lemon again with like a briny, buttery note. 
and the brine and the butter is kind of inter intermingled together with that lemon kind of lemon glaze over top of it. It is a, a decent finish, actually. Finish is nice and it's long. This is one of those whiskeys where it keeps getting better as the experience goes on. The nose isn't very impressive. Decent palate, and then the finish is quite impressive, especially based on what you've experienced before from the whiskey. You don't really have a very high uh, expectation by the time you get to the finish. But the finish delivers, finish delivers probably a, a 90, on, just on the finish. Now, this isn't a 90 of a whiskey, not even close. We'll get to that in a minute, but I definitely overpaid for this bottle. But again, I'm not the biggest fan of Bonemore. It just didn't do much for me. Um, again, I will say the Dramful, this is the first one I guess I really wasn't impressed with or I thought was, wasn't worth the money that I paid. There are some other ones that have been excellent, just not this one. All right, so I put a couple drops of water in it. Let's roll it around the glass and see if we pick up anything different. I tell you what, with water, it's just wood putty and light smoke and lemongrass. Wood putty and plastic. I was so looking forward to this bottle. It came highly recommended, but again, it was from a Bowmore fan. And maybe I just don't have the proper palate for a Bowmore. I know some people love them. They're probably my least favorite of, of Isla. Um, you know, I mean, I even pick them over like Kalila or uh, Kilhoman. I think they make, they have more solid offerings now than Bowmore does in my opinion. I know Bowmore back in the day used to be incredible whiskey. I just really haven't found one that resonated with me to, to a high level. Maybe the Devil's Cask, I like those. I picked those up for a hundred bucks. I thought that was good value. But it wouldn't be, you know, if I never had a Bowmore Devil Cask again, I wouldn't think of it a big loss. Anyway, back to this one. Yeah, with water, definitely wouldn't do that unless you just like green hay and wood putty and plastic. Maybe a little cleaner. I've, uh, I would recommend other whiskeys. Last sip time. I recommend other whiskeys for a nose. The palate is solid. So strange. Such a weak nose. Not a lot going on, but the palate, probably driven by the ABV, is still super sweet. Amazingly sweet. Vanilla. Strong vanilla. A little bit of, again, butter. Butter, maybe still a little bit of maple syrup, like the runoff from pancakes. And it's waxy. It's full. On the mouth, the feel. It's, I mean, it lingers and it stays with you. And now a little bit of, a little bit of just a wisp of milk chocolate. Yeah, I mean, again, finish and palate is fairly strong. Nose is just poor on this one. I mean, the nose on this is an eighty. It's just not a good, not a whiskey that I want to nose at all. Um, as far as an overall whiskey score, again, this is still a fairly disappointing whiskey because the nose is a big part of the experience to me. Um, so I'm going to give it an 86 out of 100. Uh, 86 to me is a whiskey that better be under, under $100. And a whiskey that I probably wouldn't bother at this point in my whiskey journey buying, period. Um, I mean, I'm glad I tried it. I like trying new whiskeys. Um, I like trying obscure whiskeys. So again, only 299 bottles. So more and more, I just bring, <laughs> after doing some whiskey reviews, just a lot of obscure whiskeys that uh, I've been reviewing lately. And this is no, no different. Um, but yeah, not a whiskey that I would buy again for $200, not a whiskey I would probably buy again even for $80 just because I've already had it once and I know what the experience is. But I'll share it with a few of my friends, see what they think. Again, I'm at 86 of 100 on this. This is the Bowmore 21-year-old, the 15th release from Dramful. Go with the 16th release. That is a Port Charlotte 16-year-old that is a stunner. Love that whiskey. So trust me, there are a lot of good Dramfuls. This just isn't one of them, in my opinion. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comment section. There's, you know, 298 other people that got at least got a taste of this one. Maybe um, I'm too much of a novice with Bowmore to know the difference, but for me, that's where it's at. I uh, want to thank you for once again joining me for another whiskey review. Love to talk to you about this whiskey in the comment section, especially if you think I'm wrong, especially on the nose. Let me have it. Want to, want to get better at uh, nosing and tasting whiskey, so if I miss something, uh, love to hear your thoughts on it. And until next time, happy drinking.